Well, I'll tell you something. I read a great comment this morning. Uh, it was, do you think Rangers know it's actually January and they're not stuck in December? Good question. I don't know. I don't know whether, they're, whether they know it's actually the January transfer window and the January transfer window is actually open for business. And it's actually the 16th of December. Uh, no, God, I could join the Rangers board. It's actually the 16th of January. So, uh, look, we have heard, we have, and look, before I talk about the latest links, the latest link or link, um, I'm just going to obviously couch whatever I say in the fact that it is merely a report, that it is merely rumoured. Um, number of the fan sites, number of the fan media sites, number of the uh, websites are reporting that this is uh, a bona fide link. Whether it is or not, hey, only time will tell. And we all know. Look, we all know until you actually see that player at Alconhowie or at Ibrox with the shirt on, holding the scarf up above his head, or, that they are. Ha that's the only time you know it is an official signing. It, they have officially joined the club. We know. We know. So please don't point that out. It's known. So we heard obviously about Langoni yesterday, the winger from Argentina. And as I said on the morning news video, the match day news video, I said that, look, that is very highly unlikely. Given the fact that his price tag is between 4.8 and 6 million pounds, I think it's exceptionally unlikely that Rangers would be able to spend that amount of money on a winger. Just don't think it's at all realistic. I am... I've said I will reserve judgment on the board um, until the end of this transfer window. I genuinely think there is not a lot of money there. I genuinely think there is very little, if any, money there for Philippe Clermont to strengthen. You've obviously then got to be concerned um, about Philippe Clermont and the future. You know, if, an, if he does really well this season, his Rangers uh, proves himself that an English club comes in from in the summer. Um, and if they can say to him, look, Philippe, we can offer you double your wages and this amount of transfer budget, which is over and above what Rangers can offer you, who'd blame him? Who'd blame him, um, given the way the board are possibly treating him? We don't know. We don't know. Absolutely. So who is this latest player that has been linked? Get ready, guys, for another massive name massacre. He's Montenegrin. He is called uh, Viktor Djukanovic, I'm saying. That's I'm going to go with it for the moment. Djukanovic. He is only 19 years old. He is Montenegrin. Um, he is an attacker, a left winger or a right winger, can play on either wing, prefers to play on the left-hand side and cut in on his right foot. I was watching some of his YouTube clips this morning and I know, guys, I know, YouTube can make anyone look amazing. Let's face it, how the hell do people like Ben Aslett and Al Alcir and Arnie and people like that and the Norris Nuts get views. So look, there we go. So look, it is a situation that we're in. I know YouTube can make anyone look good. You can probably find a YouTube video somewhere that makes Sam Lammers and Serial Dessers look like world-class players. That would be a hell of a video. And no, it's not Harry Potter. Right, OK, so he is, he is right-footed, even though he does play towards the left, which, of course, does beg the question that if this was a signing to be made, uh, where would Abdalassima play? Is this perhaps suggesting that there is a move to not sign a striker uh, because we can't afford it? And it will be Seema who will be put through the middle once he returns from Africa Cup of Nations duty, where he was on the bench yesterday in Senegal's victory over Gambia. Could that be a possibility? You know, he is one of the best finishers at the club. He is the per sort of person that when he's put through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you kind of do back him, don't you, to get his shot off and actually either work the goalkeeper or score, unlike players like Serial Dessers, for example, who tends to either fall over his own feet or get tackled. Uh, he is under contract to Hammarabi in, Sw in Sweden till 2027. So obviously it would require a transfer fee. He is currently at the peak of his transfer market value thought to be in the proximity of 3 million euros. That is approximately 2.5, 2.75 million pounds. Of course, you have to then obviously wonder, have Rangers got 2 million or 2.75 million or 2.5 million to spend on a player? Who knows? Who knows in this January transfer window? Let's get everyone, if you can do me a favour now, get your hands down the back of your sofa and send whatever you find into John Bennett, care of John, uh, James Bisgrove. Let's find out a little bit more about him. Um, so he currently plays for Hammurabi in Sweden, having starting his career with, I believe it is pronounced Podgorica. I think that is how it is pronounced. I might be hideously wrong. I have been hideously wrong in the past. And I think a lot, and some of you think that I'm hideously wrong all the time. Uh, there we go. So let's have a little look at these stats, shall we? Um, as regards his time with Podgorica and his time with uh, Hammurabi. So, in terms of his time with Podgorica, he's played 84 times, scoring 19 goals with seven assists. So, that's 26 goal contributions in, in uh, 
those 84 games. Now, Hamarabi, he has scored 13 goals in 33 games, which is pretty good for a winger. And I was watching some of his goals this morning, um, and they're pretty spectacular. He, he likes to take a shot. He likes to cut in on that right foot. He's not afraid to hit it from the edge of the box. He's not afraid to hit it from 20 yards out. He's not afraid to have a go. So, you know, that is something certainly Rangers do need. You know, we need to be more clinical. We need to perhaps play a little bit less football in and around the box. And when there's a chance opens up on the edge of the box or or, or even a bit further out, absolutely smack it and get it in the back of the net. A bit like Tom Lawrence does when he is fit to play. Um, in terms of his performance by competition, in the Al Svenskan, he scored 11 goals. That's the Swedish top league. And in the... Um, uh, Meridian bet one, which I presume is the Montenegrin league, it's 12 goals, four assists. He has played for Montenegro at full international level where he has made two appearances. He played at under 21 level, scoring two goals in two appearances. So Jukanovic seems to be a very promising young winger, someone who has quite a lot of talent, someone who, you know, has an, has an ability. You know, I was watching, like I said, I know it's YouTube. I know YouTube can make anyone look amazing. It can make probably make Dessas and Lammers look great. Shit, he could probably even make Borna Barisic look amazing. So, look, he looks he looks skillful. He looks quick. He looks to have a knowledge of where the goal is. He's good at buying himself time. He looks a decent prospect. Now, he's only 19 years old, so he is very much that sort of player that would fit that player trading model. Uh, you know, someone you can bring in, two, two and a half, three million pounds, then flip for, you know, hopefully in a year, two years, well, 18 months to two years time for 10, 11 million pounds. You never know. You, you know, English clubs will pay vast premium money. So will some of the Spanish clubs, some will some of the Italian clubs, so will the Saudis, obviously. But I wouldn't wish going out to Saudi Arabia or anyone. So look, you know, at the end of the day, this could be a decent signing if it was to come off, if it is as rumoured, apparently, allegedly, all those other words you use around allegedly, all of the synonyms for the word allegedly. You know, this is, this is the way it is. So look, would he be a good signing? Looks on paper to be a good signing. Looks from YouTube. Like I said, we do kind of sort of take whatever YouTube shows us with a little bit of pinch of salt, a little bit of pinch. Um, looks all right. Looks okay. Uh, looks decent. But like I said, have we got two and a half, 2.75 million pounds? Have we got any money? Do we need to get our hands down the back of our sofas? Uh, I don't know. Do we need to go and perhaps, I don't know, perhaps sign up, get a few players to get a few people to sign on and get a bit of cash? That seems to work for those across the city. Oh, well, this is where we're up to. You know, in terms of signings, this is the link, Yukanovic. Uh, maybe, you never know, we could have a video. So at some point, Rangers have signed someone. Hallelujah. That would be amazing. We'd actually make a video where we actually sign someone. Wow. That would be totally amazing. Hopefully that'll happen soon. Anyway, guys, on the way out, please sub to the channel. Obviously, it helps the channel to grow. We're 12 away from 4,600 subs as we head towards our 5K target by the 6th of March. And obviously, reminder tonight, we have the live stream of the game, guys. So come and join us for that. And as I always ask you to do me two favours as you depart, number one is to smash the like because it helps the chat, it helps the channel and it helps the video grow. And number two, please always remember we are the people.